Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got a really cute, um, I think seasonal card for you, Cup of Thanks, and it is definitely getting to be pumpkin latte season, and that look is really easy to do with Stampin' Up's new Press On stamp set combined with the Banner Year stamp set. Check out the little pumpkin, the cute little coffee cup, and that birthed this awesome pumpkin spice latte. This is our mystery card for this week. If you don't know about the Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social, um, there's a link below the video. Check out the Craft Social. Every Thursday we play a game, and this Thursday it's mystery card. So Wednesday you get a list of supplies to gather. Thursday we get together and we stamp. So we've got solid color card stock, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We've got a solid color card stock that's four by five and a quarter. We've got a solid color card stock that's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Don't worry, the printable measurements will be on the blog. Just follow the link to the blog post to grab that project sheet. Um, then we've got designer series paper, three coordinating patterns that are three by one and a quarter inch each. And these are from the Gilded Autumn designer series paper. Aren't those great papers? All right, scraps for stamping and cutting a focal image. So there's my scraps. And then we've got solid color card stock, three and a half by one half inch. Uh, simple stamp images that work well for paper piecing. So I got my little mug, some accents with my pumpkin, a skinny sentiment stamp, ink pads that coordinate with the designer series paper, an embossing folder, and ribbon or fiber. I've got my braided linen trim and some bling. So I collected those materials and then you join us to play. Thursday afternoon, 2 p.m. Central. And uh, we'll be doing, we do every other Thursday afternoon. All right, so let's get started with our brick and mortar embossing folder. It's a 3D folder. I'm gonna pop that guy into the folder. And because it's got a strong horizontal vertical pattern, let's be careful how we put it in there. Looks good. My stamping hut and emboss machine. For 3D folders, you need number one and number four. So we'll pop that guy in, drop number four on top, and get a nice 3D impression. Looks good, doesn't it? I love how some of the bricks are deeper than others. You got a little texture on them. Really great filter. All right, let's do some stamp in here. I've got Cajun Craze, Mint Macron, and early espresso. My stamp and pierce mat and a bunch of pieces. Let's start with a coffee cup. Gonna do early espresso. I'm gonna let me cover my stamp and pierce mat because we are going to go off the edge here. I'm gonna do the lid, the coffee cup. That's a little streaky. Must have wiggled. There we go. That's a better lid. And then the cozy in the center. And now let's do that pumpkin from Banner Year. We're going to do the pumpkin in Cajun Craze. And then the stem and leaf and mint macaron. And then we're going to wipe off the stem and leaf. And we'll switch to early espresso. And we're going to add the stem right onto the pumpkin. Cute little pumpkin. Now, a cup of thanks. Let's go ahead and ink that up in early espresso. Stamp it on our crumb cake strip. Excellent. 
Now let's do a little trimming. I've got my tailored tag punch. We want to leave enough on the left side so that we can add a bow and a little bit of bling. And we'll get a little bit closer on the right hand side, a little closer to the thanks word than. Not too bad. It might be a little short. Oh, that's okay though. I think it'll still look all right on the design. All right, let's fussy cut this little guy. We're going to cut it so that's got a very vanilla edge just a little bit. When it comes to the leaf, you don't have to fussy cut it twice. You just cut it so that there's a tab that you can glue because we're going to paper piece the mint macaron leaf over the top of the early espresso one. There's our pumpkin. Let's get the leaf trimmed out. Again, a little very vanilla border around our leaf and just can bubble cut. Spot a multi-purpose liquid glue right on that glue tab. Add your mint macaron leaf. And look at that adorable little fall pumpkin. What a cutie. Now for our cup, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to cut right on the line though, because it's mint macaron and we want a nice clean edge. For the lid, you're going to glue the vanilla one. So don't bother to fussy cut, just kind of cut it out and then right on the line for the cup. So there's our cup. For the vanilla lid, you're gonna do the same. You're gonna cut right on the line. There's our lid. And now our crumb cake cozy. Let me show you how we're gonna get this awesome little corrugated texture. I'm gonna take that piece and we're going to pop it right into our simply score tool and we're going to find the track and we're going to score every eighth of an inch right across our stamped image give it a nice deep score using the wide ball end of your stylus and then now we've got a corrugated Cut cozy, isn't it just too cute? The details, just the little details. We'll cut this one out. Nice straight cuts right on the line. And there's your cute little detail. Got multi-purpose liquid glue here. Let's assemble our cup. We did our pumpkin. We're gonna take the base and add a little multi-purpose liquid glue on that tab that we left for the lid. Set the lid right in place. And then same for the center piece here for a little cozy little glue and then set that guy right in place. And that's just a gorgeous little fall cup. All right, now let's get our designer series papers. And we'll add them to our very vanilla layer. A little multi-purpose liquid glue. And we're going to look for an even right, left, and top border. And then for our bottom piece, we're going to look for an equal right, left, and bottom border and then pop the center one right in the middle and split the difference between the two. I love this designer series paper color black look. It's a great way to use up scraps of designer series paper and really show off all the great patterns. Doesn't that just green pumpkin latte? All right, on our brick and mortar layer, let's go ahead and adhere. A very vanilla designer series paper color block panel. 
And we're going to do that with equal top and bottom borders and equal right and left borders. So center it up. Now, sentiment. We've got a cup of thanks. We're going to adhere that right between the hound's tooth and the multicolor leaf. Up goes on next. We're gonna pop that guy. Got a little punk in here. That's gonna get some dimensionals. Pop that guy on a little half a dimensional. Got my card base here. Now let me show you something. I have been saving all of these little foam adhesive sheets, all these bits from doing the uh, nothing's better than words, coffee, cocktails, all these pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut these guys up. I'm going to take these bits that I've kind of cut up and put them on my brick and mortar piece. Just peel and stick. Nobody likes a card with a saggy layer. Everybody likes a little dimension, but when you put dimension on a piece that's this large, Sometimes you just end up with a saggy card. And so we are not going to let that happen. We are going to use up all these bits that might have otherwise gone into the garbage as scraps. So there's that. Now, one side is peel and stick, but the other side is cardstock from die cutting our words. So we are going to just go right ahead and add some multi purpose liquid glue. right on the cardstock side of this adhesive and flip. let's make sure our card opens on the right side center that guy and now we've got all the support we need from something that might have otherwise been seen as a scrap or garbage time to embellish my linen thread. I'm going to tie a little bow. This time I'm going to use champagne rhinestones. I'm not, originally used clear, but I'm thinking that for the pumpkin latte, the fall feel, we got to go champagne this time. First, I'm going to get the little bow in place. Got a glue dot, a little mini glue dot. And then take your pick tool and we're going to use the assorted size sparkles here. Got kind of a bigger guy. I'm going to go for six of them on this. Oh, a cup of thanks. Oh, I do love the champagne rhinestones. They give kind of a, a warm fall sparkle. There's the clear ones. Which ones do you guys like better, the champagne or the clear? <laughs> All right, that's it. That is our pumpkin spice latte cup of thanks card. It was our mystery coffee in a card. Come join us two weeks from today as we play another round of Coffee and a Mystery Card. If you got any questions about the games, about the projects, about the products, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. And to shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.